Greetings brethren, in this short video we will go over what the milk and meat means in the scriptures. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. These verses tells us that when we come into the faith as new believers, we are babes in Christ, which basically means we have no knowledge of the scriptures. And therefore we cannot understand spiritual things because we must learn the scriptures as we grow in Christ. Which is like a normal baby when it is born, it cannot eat normal food, it needs milk in its first years. Which is also what we are told in this next verse. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. So this is quite clear that milk means very basic teachings of the scriptures, which is that Christ died for our sins, and was buried and rose from the dead on the third day, and a few other basic teachings about him. Unfortunately most Christians today, are in the fallen and apostate church system of the world, which is controlled from the pagan mother church in Rome. They are not taught many of the important things of the scriptures, because these churches are under a 501c3 tax exemption status, which means they are controlled by their governments, who are controlled by the Vatican, and they don't want people to know the truth, so they decide what the pastors are allowed to preach, which is the milk. And because majority of these Christians don't read their Bibles, but rely on their pastor to teach them the word of God, then they are easily deceived and will never be able to understand spiritual things and have a deeper knowledge of the scriptures, which is what Paul refers to as, meat. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk, and not with meat. For hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. That is why it is so important to come out of these fallen churches, and to open our Bibles and study it on a daily basis. Read both the Old and the New Testament, as both Testaments testifies of Jesus Christ. The Bible is all about him, and there are no difference in Jews and Gentiles when we are truly born again in Christ, and strive to live a holy life, separated from the world and in obedience to his teachings and keeping his commandments. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. As we are being told in this verse, we simply cannot understand biblical doctrines if we remain in these fallen churches being fed with milk only, and remain a babe in Christ. That is why it is so important to study the scriptures on our own and pray for guidance of the Holy Spirit, as he will lead us into all truths. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. We cannot come into the unity of the faith, of the saints of the Most High, if we are not truly born again. We are to repent of all our sins, and turn away from sin, and commit changes in our lives, for us to become a new creature in Christ, and strive to live a holy life in obedience to his teachings and commandments. And when we are obedient to Christ, the Holy Spirit will dwell in us, and we will receive the wisdom and knowledge to understand the scriptures. As we also know from scriptures in these latter days, there are a lot of deception and false teachings going on both in the churches of the world, but also on social medias, and if we don't study our scriptures we won't be able to test and try the spirits to see if they are from God or from the enemy. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. I hope this gave you a better understanding of what milk and meat means in Paul's writings. I wish you a good day. God bless.